Yeah. Please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in issue of the Mashiach's name. Amen. We'll start off with the Shema. Children of Yahavah, pay careful attention and respond. Yahavah is our power and authority. Yahavah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yahavah, your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Today we'll continue in Proverbs on Sundays until, we'll, until we'll, we are finished with Proverbs, and then we'll start something else. Proverbs 11. False scales are an abomination to Yahavah, but accurate weights please him. First comes pride, then disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the duplicity of the treacherous destroys them. On the day of wrath, wealth doesn't help, but righteousness rescues from death. The righteousness of the innocent levels their way, but the wickedness of the wicked makes them fall. The righteousness of the upright rescues them, but the treacherous are trapped by their own intrigues. When a wicked man dies, his hope perishes. When he hopes, for from evil comes to nothing. The righteous is delivered from trouble, and the wicked comes to take his place. With his mouth the hypocrite can ruin his neighbor, but by knowledge the righteous are delivered. When the righteous prosper, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perish, there is joy. By the blessing of the upright, a city is raised, but the words of the wicked tear it down. He who belittles another lacks good sense, whereas a person of discretion stays silent. A gossip goes around revealing secrets, but a trustworthy person keeps a confidence. Without clever tactics, an army is defeated, and victory comes from much planning. He who guards, he who guarantees a loan for a stranger will suffer, but refusing to underwrite is safe. A gracious woman obtains honor. Aggressive men obtain wealth. A man who is kind does himself good, but the cruel does him himself harm. The profit of the wicked is illusory, but those who sow righteousness gain a true reward. Genuine righteousness leads to life, but the pursuer of evil goes to his own death. The crooked-hearted are an abomination to Yahweh, but those sincere in their ways are his delight. Depend on it. The evil will not go unpunished, but the offspring of the righteous will escape. Like a gold ring in the snout of a pig is a beautiful woman who lacks good sense. The righteous desire only good, but what the wicked hope for brings wrath. Some give freely and still get richer, while others are stingy but grow still poorer. The person who blesses others will prosper, but he who satisfies others will be satisfied himself. The people will curse him who withholds grain, but if he sells it, blessings will be on his head. He who strives for good obtains favor, but he who searches for evil, it comes to him. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like sprouting leaves. Those who trouble their families will inherit the wind, and the fool becomes slave to the wise. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who is wise wins souls. If the righteous are paid what they deserve here on earth, how much more the wicked and the sinner? What can we learn from Proverbs 11 on how we can apply loving our Father? loving the creator we can be accurate and fair in our business dealings choose first humility 
then wisdom follows. Be a man or woman of integrity, and you will be guided in the right direction. Store up for yourself righteous, righteousness for the day of wrath. If you want your way to be level, then choose righteousness and be innocent. If you want to be rescued, then choose righteousness and be upright. Be righteous and your hope will never be cut off. If you want to be delivered from trouble, then choose righteousness. If you aim to be delivered, then seek knowledge and be righteous. Build up your neighbor. If you desire to be delivered, then choose knowledge and be righteous. Pray that critics rejoice because of the prosperity of the righteous. Build others up and know when to be silent. Seek to be discerning. Be trustworthy and choose to be a person of discernment. To be victorious, plan. If you are going to guarantee a loan, then only do it for someone you love and trust. Goal for a woman is to be gracious, and this will lead to her obtaining honor. Men should choose to be kind. He will do himself good. Choose to sow righteousness, and you will gain a true reward. Aim for genuine righteousness, which leads to life. Be sincere in your way, and you will be Yahweh's delight. Beautiful women should seek good sense. Be righteous and desire good. Give freely. Bless others. Satisfy others. Strive for good and you will obtain favor. Trust in Yahava. Choose righteousness. Help your family and choose to be wise. Let your fruit stem from righteousness, which is a tree of life. Choose to be wise and win souls. How can we love others? Teach them how they can be righteous, produce fruit, and win souls. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. How can we bear one another's burdens? We can give to others our time, our talents, and our ear. End with the Arianic Blessing. Because it's awesome. Yahweh will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahweh will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen.